Hello guys again. Now let's render the scene. We completed the texture and everything is ready. Now what we want, now we want to add the lighting and go to the render setup, adjust something, some parameters and then hit render. So let's start from the lighting. I want to add light for the scene. So I have uh, two way. Either I go from create and then go to lighting. But before of that, you need to specify the, the render engine. So you should go to the render setup and then after that, go to the renderer and hit Corona. If you, if you don't do that, you may find the scan line in the renderer. So you should change it to Corona. After that, when you do that, you can create the light of Corona. So go to the create and after that to the light section and click Corona light. Or you can find it here in the Corona toolbar. This one, Corona light. I prefer to choose it from here. It's very fast and create one. So first of all, I need to create a rectangular light so i need to change it from here the shape to rectangle after that i will create it in front view so go to the front view and create one like this this one i will put this light here and you can give it a bit of rotation towards the tire or you can go to the parameters and activate target and you can now change the target and the the light will follow it like this that's cool after that, I will click Interactive Render to see the effect of this light, but I need to create a camera. So just choose the nice uh, position of the camera, the right one. And before of that, go to the render setup and adjust the dimension of the image. So in the output size, choose HDTV and choose uh, the full HD this choice right here or you can add any number you want but you need to go to the custom if you want any different number after that I press shift plus F to active the the save frame after that you can click this icon right here to create a camera from this uh, view angle just click it and a corona camera is created here so now let's hit the interactive render. Start interactive render in Corona VFB. Now I got this result. So I need to adjust the light a little bit. The angle is looks nice, but it is uh, is very high intensity and the light has a bit of yellow color, warm color. So I need to change it. So hit P from the keyboard to to move, and so you can click the light and adjust the light, go to the modify, to the parameters of the light and change the color to something like white. Like this. And then take the intensity to 25 or maybe 20 okay that's cool I will stop the render and I will add another light so I will duplicate this one just choose it and activate uh, select and move and click shift and drag to whatever direction you want and then we have a new one pointed to the tire from the object click copy and then OK. Now you can change the color of this of this one. So this light will uh, give emit light from this direction to the tire. And I need it give me a blue color. So just open the 
direct input color and choose it to something bluish like this and take the intensity towards 10 or 15 then click render again interactive render so to reduce the intensity of the light you can manipulate it from this uh, this number or you can adjust the dimension and make them smaller so in the width we have almost 15 centimeters so I will make it 10 and in the height I gonna make it uh, 40 like this and the intensity I will make it 10 because I need the effect to be, be subtle and you can change the light to something more bluish no that's cool okay that's cool I will add another light from the bag I will choose this one and hit shift and drag it and keep it copy then hit ok and we have one we gonna give it a bit of height when take it up at the z direction and change the dimension of it like this and for this one I gonna give it a red effect a red color like this now I will uh, uh, hit the visible direct don't forget that because if you don't the light will be appear in the render so just uh, click this one so I will click interactive render to see no this is a new light give me a bit of reddish uh, color effects in the rim here I think I need to take the intensity up a little bit maybe 25 30 alright that looks nice I will stop the render to add another light source I will take this one and click shift and copy it for this uh, side copy and this will be a little bit uh, lower in here and this will be a blue light choose whatever color you want you want to add white blue whatever thing but I like the object have a touch of light red with blue so I gonna put it right here and choose this color and ok and I will press C from the keyboard to look at the object from the eye of the camera and that's cool hit interactive render to see the result by the way you can open the scene explorer if you want to click whatever light you want to adjust from the list here after that hit interactive render for this light I will make it more bluish now as you see I have very nice effects and the light sources uh, they gave me a very nice uh, variation of colors and that will make the scene more professional you can add the light source from above or from the bottom all of these things will give you a nice uh, nice effect I think for the first one light I think is very powerful at uh, this area and in the same time I think the Adobe uh, depth of field is uh, is active in the camera so I can uh, hit this uh, camera 001 and go to select camera to select it and go to the depth of field yeah it's on so I gonna turn it off for now 
So I'm gonna go here and click this button to unhide everything. I will choose this one and just to make sure that uh, this is the light I want, I will turn off the visibility and yes, this one, this light I want. I will reduce the the intensity to maybe eight to see the effect because it's very powerful. <coughs> now I get nice uh, lighting here. For the red one, I think I could uh, take the intensity up, so I need to to find it. I think this one. Yeah, this one. I'm gonna kink the name. I will call it red. Light. That's cool. I will take the intensity up to give me very powerful effect. And that's nice. So after that, I can uh, take the final shot. I will go to the camera. Just uh, choose the camera from here and go to the depth of field. I'm gonna enable this one and choose the right angle if you want to choose the right angle there is very easy way I always use it just hit it twice the upper arrow and then move in the scene like this until you find the angle you want use the W and AST is like the like the game to move in the scene like this and you can click the left uh, click of the mouse and move the mouse wherever you want to change the target of the camera like this and then choose the right angle like this After you enabling the depth of field make sure to choose very small amount uh, number in the f-stop like one or two or three to make the depth of field very strong after that if you want to focus uh, on uh, any area you want uh, from the object just go to this button right here and click it and activate it and then hit right click to the object that you want to focus and after that choose this choice set focus to this point and the camera will focus this point as you see <coughs> that's cool now the focus is very nice I will choose this option right here it's called rule camera this option give me a bit of uh, the ability to rotate the camera so I'm gonna use it like this That's very nice. And I will choose this point focus, right click, set focus to this point. And don't forget to activate the icon here. After you after you choose the right angle, now you can now you can make the final render. And I will stop uh, the render. And I will go to the setting, the render setting to make sure that everything is okay. All right, now the output size is full HD. In the scene, you need to go to denoising and choose the Corona high quality. And in the performance, uh, make the global illumination active and you can choose uh, path tracing and UHD cache. Path tracing give me the high render quality and UHD cache is uh, not like uh, it's not as powerful like path tracing, so I will choose this one. After that, I will hit render to make the final shot. Welcome back. Now the render is finished and I get this very nice results, as you see is realistic but i think it needs a little bit of adjustments so i will choose corona tune mapping exposure it controls the brightness of the image so when you take this 
effect up the image will be more bright and if you take it down the image will be dark hit right click to make it zero for high highlight compress this reduce the highlight the burn area like here and uh, this one right here but I will keep it one for now white balance affect the overall image if you take this uh, number up, that will give you a warm effect, and if you take it down, that will give you cold effect. For contrast, I will take the contrast and change it for two. And for a filmic shadow, I will turn this for uh, almost maybe 0 0.5. And for uh, bloom and glare, I will activate this one. And as you see, Bloom and Glare gave me this uh, this effect right here, these streaks. So I'm going to take the Glare Intensity to 3 to make this stronger. That's nice. Now the render is fine and the image is quite beautiful. So I'm going to save it, hit the save button and choose the format you want from here. PNG or JPEG. Or so I'm going to say it uh, like JPEG and give it a name. and then hit save make this uh, at the maximum and ok so guys i hope you enjoy this course and i hope you find this tutorials useful and i hope you learned something thank you for watching and and see you in another videos